Most people smile and are amused when I tell them that snoring has always been a problem for me. But if it's been a problem for me, you imagine what it's been like for my partner. But Joseph Starbuck's snoring was recently cured, thanks to some anatomical detective work and an ingenious operation. As you might expect, the operation was pioneered by a surgeon, but it was inspired by an aeronautical engineer. Snoring's a complicated business with several causes, but in some cases, the soft palate here at the back of the throat seems to be the culprit. You can cut off the flap of skin with a scalpel, and it will certainly cure the snoring, but it is a drastic solution, which can leave patients with difficulty in swallowing. That's why Peter Ellis, a Cambridge surgeon, turned to the university's engineering department in search of a more elegant solution. Although the engineers, led by Professor John Fawkes Williams, usually work on wing vibrations and controlling fluttering gas flames, they weren't afraid of tackling something a bit more anatomical. As usual, the engineers began by building a model. A bit of chamois leather simulated the soft palate, and air was drawn through the mouth and nose cavities either side of the palate. It looks a bit crude, but frequency analysis of the snoring chamois showed that it was a good model for the real thing. The model palette flaps like a flag. In fact, anything that has air flowing on either side tends to flutter. Aeroplane wings do, and the answer then is often to stiffen them. So the professor had the idea of stiffening the chamois palette with strips of sticky tape. Put it back in the airflow, no snoring. Take off the tape, the snoring returns. The professor explained his idea to the surgeon. Sticky tape applied to the back of the mouth isn't too practical, but Peter Ellis was able to find an alternative method for stiffening the palate. This upside-down view shows the roof of the mouth being marked out, ready for a surgical laser. What you're seeing now is the laser being used to burn away the surface of the palate, deliberately damaging the tissue. The damage isn't serious and the palate heals itself after a few weeks, leaving a layer of much stiffer scar tissue. That seems to be as effective for the patient as the sticky tape was for the engineering model. The operation is still at the trial stage, but the results so far are good. The effect on snorers, including Joseph, seems to be a lasting one, and there are no serious side effects. The first few days were a little bit uncomfortable, but it was certainly worth it. I used to snore all night long, but now my partner tells me I'm as quiet as a mouse. It's incredible. Meanwhile, back in the lab, the engineers are still experimenting. They're using wind tunnel models to try and optimise the surgical technique. The aim is to burn the palate less and yet stiffen it more. The experiments are becoming increasingly sophisticated compared to the original model, but the desire for a peaceful night remains unchanged. Over the years, Japan has produced many gadgets that have become an 